Okay. Welcome to Our Family Routes. This is our first episode about what pushed us into RV life and what made us interested in it. Mm-hmm. Um, go ahead. So we were traveling. We were traveling as single people, obviously, right? Because we were single people who didn't know each other. So we just had a separate lust for for wandering around and seeing random things. But it was it's a different lifestyle when you can be a solo person sleeping in your car trying to get from place to place because you don't have enough money to like pay for all the hotels and extravaganzas and stuff like that and having a family out that was not my experience (laughs) um so i had my oldest uh well our oldest um, when i was much younger so we did always have somewhere to stay but um even if it wasn't big trips we would just do like little trips around the area. So at the time we lived in Virginia um, and just kind of traveled all around Virginia and North Carolina and DC. I got really savvy at it, doing it kind of frugally as a single parent. Um, But yeah, always kind of loved it. Traveled the US, well, not the whole US, up and down the East Coast, because again, time and money. Um, Yeah, even as, well as a kid, I grew up overseas. So I've always kind of been into Let's travel everywhere and do everything because it's a much freer lifestyle in Europe than it is here. (laughs) Um, Yeah. And then we met in Asia where we were still doing some more traveling. Yeah. And uh, (laughs) we just ended up starting to travel together in our own routes. That was the beginning of (laughs) our family routes. Yeah. So I know he had went to a few places before I got there. I had just a few. Yeah, I had gone to a few places before we met. I guess I can't really say before I got there. It was just before we really actually met. Um, And it wasn't until we had a bunch of mutual friends who somehow we ended up going to the Philippines together. Not even somehow. We just all knew. We knew all the same people. Um, And that was actually our first trip together was going to the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, magical trip, amazing trip. Because <laughs> yeah, we got to do things like jumping off waterfalls, which I don't think in a million years I would have done. Yeah. And that's the first time he saved my life doing something I probably shouldn't be doing because I can't swim. And then there's a whole bunch of other places that we went to. I mean, like, we went to separately, but like, we also went to some of these places kind of together, but not together. Like, Tokyo yeah. wasn't together, but it was kind of like soon thereafter. Yeah. So, we did some traveling solo, but then coming together in Asia, we started doing our our thing, and then, of course, we had to go our separate ways at one point in time, and we were doing some long-distance relationship-style things, and, of course, when you meet up, you want to be able to go and do some things, so we always ended up traveling even during those meetups, so. Yeah, and we got to travel the U.S. a little bit, got to travel overseas a little bit more. Um, So it was every opportunity we got, Mm -hmm. we got um, somewhere new to go, somewhere new to hang out. Uh, So yeah, we just both. And it didn't have to be like huge big places either. Yeah, it could be like maybe fifteen minutes drive down the (laughs) way, but like just wanting to see something new. So in the midst of all of this, uh, COVID breaks out because of course the whole world is shut down Mm -hmm. by the pandemic, and. Uh, at this time, as the world is shutting down, um, we are expecting, and we are in two different places. So we did end up coming together in Europe. Um, and Europe was slightly different than the U.S. when it came to the rules, uh, depending on levels. We were still able to travel a little bit there. So we did get to go to some fun places. Yeah. Um, I know you're probably thinking, we were expecting. How did this happen? It sounded juicy. We'll tell tell more about that (laughs) at another time once we become more familiar family, you know. It's really not that juicy, actually. It's (laughs) actually a pretty tame story. (laughs) Um, uh, So, I mean, as I mentioned, the oldest one, she's been traveling. Her very first flight was at two weeks old. But she had experienced a lot of places. Uh, Before he got to Europe, we had gone to, we were already living there, and we'd gone to four different countries, so... She was racking up the stamps in her passport book. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And then by the time the baby was born, there's uh, there's some fun pictures of pregnant me trying to do things. But baby waited, what, six weeks before she crossed her first country border? Yeah. Yeah. So the baby's been to, what, seven countries now? Yeah, she's been to a lot. So <laughs> we, we went all over the place while we were there. So she's seen... A lot of things. She knows what ter- real tiramisu looks like. She knows what real, like, you know, and delicious. schnitzel actually looks like. Like, she has been to some places. Saw, saw London um, Fog? The real London Fog. Not even, like, you know, <laughs> just the jacket. Real London Fog. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I mean, in France. And got to see Paris. Macarons. The oldest dream was to see the Eiffel Tower, so... We did yeah. take, and I say we, he coordinated the whole plan, but we all went <laughs> to see the Eiffel Tower and she got this beautiful picture in front of it. Um, but yes, in the course of that, of course, we got married uh, and that's how we became our nice, happy family, you see. Um, and that's since being married, we've done all Luxembourg. Uh, where else have we gone? Amsterdam. London, Prague, Paris. Prague was always great. Prague was beautiful. Was um, great. But yeah, so some we, other places in Europe. Were <laughs> we've done a lot of Europe and yeah. European adventures. European. <laughs> we've been doing some road trips in in Europe. So then when we came back to the states together, um, we actually drove from the East Coast all the way out to the West Coast, and during that drive was like. Really, really, really fun. It was really eye opening. We were able to be connected as a as a family and like really try to like start those bonds and stuff like that. So it was a really nice trip. And I think we just realized that we're never gonna get rid of some wanderlust. So like maybe we need to go see some other things. So of course then we we had to go on some trips. Um, <coughs> like even back, back in Europe, uh, when COVID <laughs> was shut down the world we were watching rv family so that's actually initially when this idea came up like oh we could live in an rv um because in my mind i was going to live in a van forever um i was going to save up enough money to live in a van and work remotely and just travel and be a nomad just me and my kid until she graduated and then just me in this van like i had already had this thought in my head and then before he got to Europe he was also mentioning wanting to do it so by the time we both got there um we are watching these families probably religiously during um the pandemic and any times we were shut down and like stuck in the house um our internet was good enough that she could do school we could do work and watch tv at the same time that's kind of where our like that initial thought started us watching other families do it because now it was no longer like he was going to do it by himself and I was going to do it with my kid. Now it's like we are going to do it and not only is it just two or one, it's four. Uh, so and the, it's a different gig. So the number doubled instantly <laughs> or times four for you. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, just we watch these families and then we're like we can do this so we did ish eventually there's more from this point in time to buy in the rv but so we don't keep you here forever um we will cut this one short and then give you just weekly catch-ups until you find where we we are where we are now Um, good job and that's it yeah, that's it. <laughs>